Alright guys, I'm um, back with another video, and as you can tell from my setup, I just finished filming, or not just, but I filmed a couple hours ago the custom Brachiosaurus base. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. Um, in this video, maybe it'll come out today, the 29th or the 30th, I don't know, but <clears throat> recently... Um, I got this. Oh, where is it? The, the new Control and Conquer Carno Taurus from the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous line. And yeah, I'll, um, <clears throat> I reviewed the Epic Roaring T Rex. I actually still have its box. It's basically the same thing, but bigger. So, yeah, it just says Carnotaurus Toro in, on the packaging. Picture of the kids, what it does. I don't know why, but uh, I know why it says Camp Cretaceous right there. But I don't know why it still says Primal Attack there and on the side. In the back, there's nothing quite new. And there, then she knows what it does. Jurassic World Facts app. Uh, <clears throat> nice picture of what it does. Press the button, controlling with the tail. And I included <clears throat> sticker sticker book, which I have. I still have from my oh, my T Rex one. Put I put the stickers on here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that with this one because I already have. And then I'll probably stick them on something else, like um, a sketchbook or something. <clears throat> Alright, so without any further ado, oh wait, on the back it shows the Sarcosuchus and the Tarbosaurus. And without any further ado, let's get this guy, girl, I don't know which one it is, open. Let's do it. All right, I am back. She's out of her box now. Looking, she or he, I don't know. It's, they don't, they didn't say. But she's out of her box. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it she. She's out of her box looking amazing. So first off, let's go over the paint job. So a while back when Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom first came out, they came out with a smaller Carnotaurus. Um, it was like this tall. Its head was pulled back, pulled back like that more, and it had an action feature, which had like a button on here where it would lunge its head forward and bite. And it had like a reddish color scheme. And then later on, next year they came out with. Then the year after that, they came out with an orange Control and Conquer Carnotaurus, and now they have the one from the Netflix series. It's way more. It's way more darker. It's brown. It has black speckles all over it, and a, something that makes it unique is the red scar on its snout. I don't know what, what that means. Is it a male fighting over a female? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where the Carnotaurus um, and all the other new species that we saw in the movie have been in Jurassic World because we saw them in a trailer that came out as of recording yesterday. So, um, it has the nice elongated toes there. Uh, kind of short and tight. Sorry about that. But, um, uh, something that I forgot what I was saying. Um... As we can see, so okay, a train mark from the Carnotaurus is the tiny arms, which are smaller than a T-Rex's arms. Um, they're kind of on like a little ball joint. Um, you can have them pulled back like how they're supposed to be, or you can have them facing up like that. Um, unlike T-Rex, I don't think they have a purpose. T-Rex might have had a purpose for like holding down its prey, but this one, I don't, I'm pretty sure no. So, um, here's the other side, just 
definitely no scar, only on the right side. So let's get into the action features. So if we, I think it's better if I hold it. So if I, what you're gonna do is hold it, one of its legs, your feet like that, so that it doesn't move off of the table. And the tail, you twist it. And you can, if you twist the tail, you twist to the head, and then you can just. If you move it up, it makes that roar. And the button makes a series of roars. So, I mean, I don't want to do it too much. I'm sure you can watch other people's, people's reviews. So, and we'll do it one more time. And, yep. It's jaws not, art not articulated. It doesn't stay if you close it. It stays open. But that's alright with me. I think that the sounds it makes makes up for it. So, now, for the last thing that we're going to do, because this review is getting a little bit long, our size comparison. So this is the Carnotaurus from the Netflix series. This is my custom painted T-Rex from the Netflix series. I put her behind. Scales up pretty well. Um, we'll do a top down view. So yeah, if we line them up at the tail, when the tails are, you can see that the Carnotaurus it's now the tip of its snout reaches up to where Rexy's neck starts. So yeah, and the size comparison, Rexy's longer because she's bigger. And we push them back further. Here is it. Here it is in scale with the 2001 Hasbro Triceratops because it's the only one I have. And we'll have it in scale also with a uh, regular Mattel Velociraptor. And then we'll put, uh, this is uh, an Elite Force figure. So basically the regular size. So yeah, other than that, this is it for this review. And see you guys next time. Bye.